back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys some summer hairstyles that you can use to get your hair out of your face during the summertime because I know it can be hot. I know it can be stressful. So I wanted to show you guys hairstyles that you can do during the summertime that are easy, quick, and simple. So let's go ahead and start the video. For style one, I just did a little twist into a fishtail. So what you're gonna start off doing is taking two sections of the same side on either side of your head, then just twist them back to the back of your head. Then I went ahead and tied it off with a hair elastic. I recommend tying this off with a little tiny one. I didn't have any more, so I had to use a big one, but tiny ones are highly recommended. And when you're doing this, make sure that no hair besides the twists are in it, because it'll hurt like when you take it out, so like, like make sure you can pull up like I just did right there. Then if you guys have long hair, you don't have to worry about this, but my short hair folks, <laughs> um, take a section right below that, if that makes any sense to you guys and see. And then you're gonna split it into two and then you're gonna fishtail it. The reason I had to do this was because I had a little nub at the left of my hair and I couldn't fishtail that. So I wanted like obviously a longer fishtail, so that's how you do it. And I have made plenty of hairstyle videos on my channel and I've explained how to fishtail and every time I never explain it properly. So I'm just gonna assume that you guys know how to fishtail or that you guys can look up a tutorial on YouTube. I'm sorry, I just don't know how to explain it, but it's really easy to do. I pinned it with bobby pins, like I said, I didn't have any small elastics and these ones are really concealable. So I just pinned it with bobby pins and it looks so cute and I loved it. And that's it for this hairstyle. For style number two, I just did two Dutch braids in the back to the back of my head to make a fish towel down on the bottom. So I'm starting off taking a section of my hair in the front and I'm Dutch braiding it back to about my ear. And Dutch braiding is the opposite of French braiding, so instead of taking the outside pieces over, you're taking them under. And you can do a French braid if you want, but I like Dutch braids more because it makes the braid pop a lot better. So once I got to my ear, I just started to normally braid. Then once I was done, I had to stretch out the braid and make it big and fluffy and everything. Then I did the exact same thing on the other side. Pulling apart a braid will give it a lot more dimension and make it stand out a little bit more. Now I'm pinning those in the back of my head on top of each other, making sure to conceal the bobby pins and how I pinned them. And then that's how it looks like, just if you want to leave like as a halo crown, I actually really like that. But I wanted to fishtail it, so I split my hair half a puff down in the back, and I added some extensions, which is obviously um, not required, but I wanted to add them to make my hair be longer and have a longer fishtail because if I would have fishtail my regular hair it wouldn't have been that long. So I added two two clip extensions right on top of each other and these are Bellamy hair extensions. Oh my god can we take a minute to talk about these? These are so thick and nice and they're a little lighter than my hair but it gives it a nice little thing whenever you're fishtailing or just braiding because it adds a lot more different colors in it and it makes it more noticeable. So my mom gave me these. This is not sponsored by Bellamy or anything, but I loved having these extensions on my hair. They were so easy to work with, and I just love them. So if you guys want these, I'll link them down below if I can find a link, but I'm not sponsored by them at all. And then, of course, I always have to pull out my braids, and it makes it really big. And this one was a little bit weird because I started it weirdly, but the bottom was really pretty and, like, stretched out, but the top wasn't. Sorry about that, but... Here's the back of that, and I love it. It looks like a princess or queen or like royal. I love the hairstyle, it's so cute. For style number three, I am doing an upside down French braid into a bun. This is really easy if you wanna get your hair out of your face and you wanna wear a bun, but you want it to be cute. So I flipped my hair upside down and then I did a Dutch braid. So that was gonna pop a little bit more and I'm not the best at doing it upside down. It was so hard to do, but you know, I figured it out and it wasn't too bad when I finished. Then I went ahead and um, added all my hair together into a ponytail and then I made it into a bun. That's it for this one. I think it's really cute and really simple as well.
And then lastly for salad number four, I did another bun, but this time I did a bandana for those of you guys that can't braid. So it's like a little cute hairstyle still. So I started off sectioning the front sections of my hair. I used a comb, I don't know why. I didn't have to. And then I pinned them out of the way with a bobby pin. Now I'm taking the rest of my hair and I'm just putting this in a bun. You can do whatever kind of bun you want. I did like my signature bun and I put it in a ponytail and I wrapped it around itself and put another hair tie on top. But I think I have a video on how I do all three of my buns, which I can put in the link down below. Then I'm releasing the section of my bangs and everything. And what I did was put my bandana on and I tied it and then I tucked the ends under in the bandana. Then I took my hairs that were left, I pulled them to the back of my head and just tucked them in the bandana. For extra secureness, you can like add bobby pins just to make sure it's like 100% secure. But I didn't want to add bobby pins because I just didn't want, I didn't feel like it. So that's it for this hairstyle. Oh wait. Then I did a bobby pin right there just to make sure it was like gonna stay there like as a swoop and stuff. And I pulled out my side pieces and that's it for this hairstyle. It's so easy if you guys cannot breathe. This is an optional, I mean like another, what's it called? Like a substitute way of doing a hairstyle without a braid, but it's still cute. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what your favorite hairstyle was. Also, if you guys try these hairstyles, make sure you tweet them to me at xashmenicole and if you love the video, go ahead and give me a favor and you guys should subscribe to my channel down below. It means so much to me and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you find it helpful and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you.